Hey everybody, it's Dane again, back with another Beard Park Review, and today we're going to be talking about Husky Beard. So before I get this review, let's roll that intro and I'll be right back. All right, like I said, we're going to be talking about Husky Beard today. And just let you know, the company's owner name is David, and he's from Houston, Texas. So he's a fellow Texan, so I thought that's pretty cool. And, you know, he reached out to me on IG and asked if I wanted to do a review. So I said yes, and uh, he actually sent me out two oils and a beard cream, or what they call beard butter. And that's what I'm going to do my review on. So the first of all, let's get into the presentation. So here's what the bottle of oil looks like. Uh, he sent me that black suede here. And the other oil was Siberian. On the back side of both bottles, he does have the ingredients listed on here. So once again, here's the back of the black suede. And for the the uh, beard cream, it's a, he sent me the scent in Modern Man. So it's like you know this big old tub of the beard butter. That oils are one ounces and his uh, beard cream or beard butter is four ounces. Now also when it comes to the oils, it comes in this, um, they come in this little, with this little clap on it. And of course at the time of purchase, you do have the choice to pick whether you want a dropper, you know, a standard dropper like this or a Euro top. So just keep that in mind. And when it comes to the consistency, Or I'm like a little medium, just a shot less than the medium oil for me. And when it comes to the beard cream, you can see it's very nice and creamy. You know, breaks down really nice and easy. So that's really good. Now, when it comes to the ingredients for the oil, he has virgin argan oil, pure jojoba oil, vitamin E, sweet almond, apricot kernel, avocado, pumpkin, hemp seed, and grape seed. And when it comes to the uh, beard cream or beard butter, he has naturally refined shea butter, then plus that same oil blend. All right, when it comes to the scents, first of all, let's talk about the black suede here. Black suede is rosemary, cedar, fragrance scents, and clove. Overall, what I get out of this is just kind of a nice spiced, earthy, cologne type scent. So I get, you know, I get that spiciness from that clove and get that earthiness from the uh, rosemary and uh, cedar and kind of gets me overall cologne type feel. So it's just kind of really nice, spiced, earthy, cologne type scent for me. And the Siberian is as it's just a signature clone scent. And to me, I get out of this is just really nice, refreshing clones type scent. I do get uh, kind of a citrus vibe out of it. So it's just really nice, refreshing. And the Modern Man scent from the butter is a very, very light scent. So, and of course I don't have the oil to compare it with, but it's very light compared to the, the two oils I have. So like, like I said, I don't have the Modern Man in oil to compare uh, the scent strength is just because, you know, from the butter to the oil or if it's but if it's butters in general just have a lighter scent uh but overall this particular scent in this this butter modern man is a very light and it's actually on the website it says smooth wood scent so uh really since it's really so light i can't really tell any kind of wood wood that's in there but it just kind of just smells just nice and refreshing just get that refreshing type like feel for it so it's very it's been i mean what i can try to smell of it. it it does smell pretty good but like i said it's very light very faint all right when it comes to price you get a one ounce oil for twenty dollars and a four ounce beard cream or a beard butter what it's called on its website uh for 23.95 now when it comes to feeling beard this product did not really do as well as i was hoping it would be but before i get into that though uh i would like to know uh, who has tried Husky Beard and leave in the comments how it is, has uh, affected you now how well, how well did it do in your beard because the, the people that I know that that do like Husky Beard they all have really dark beards so I'm just wondering if it's just my beard because it's, it's a lighter beard and it has you know quite a bit of gray in it so 
I'm not sure it's just because of the color of my beard, you know, the type of beard I have, or it's just me. So if you are a graying beard or have a gray white beard and you tried Husky Beard, you know, please let me know your thoughts on the product. And, you know, just anybody in overall, actually, just leave your comments in the, in the description below as, you know, if you tried Husky Beard and if you like him or, or don't like him, you know, just let me know your thoughts on how the product worked for you. So for, when it comes to the oil itself, when it came to the skin, it definitely did its job. I had no issues with that. It definitely kept my skin nice and moisturized, hydrated, and all the good things that you want for your skin. So I, you know, I never had any problems with the beard drift or anything like that. So really did a good job for that. But when it came for the beard hair itself, although it is, you know, starting to soften my hair, a couple hours later it just started feeling dry again. And of course, I at that point I feel like I need to reapply, uh, you know, reapply the, the beard oil. So, uh, you know, I definitely did not, did not like that because I definitely want the oil that's going to last, last throughout the day. So, the oil did not really work for me. So, when it comes to this, uh, the beard cream, you know, same, same effect. When I put the beard cream in, it did soften my beard at some, but then over a couple of hours, it started feeling dry again. So, and, and when, I, when I combed my, my beard, it definitely had a, uh, more snags and tangles in it than than I normally would have. So, this overall, this this product just you know left my beard dry. Uh, you know, you know, within a couple of hours. So, I just felt like I had to keep reapplying re reapplying it throughout the day. So, overall, this product just did not really work for me. But overall, you know, if you like Xy Beard, you know, please leave in the comments below. If you if you don't like them, you know, please leave the, leave the comments below as well. Like I said, I, I don't know if it's just just my beard type that didn't, didn't like it. Or it could be, you know, the, the gray type beards. I'm not too sure. So I, I'd like to get your information, you know, your thoughts on, you know, what type of beard you have and if you like the Husky Beard products and how they work with you. So please remember, keep your beards healthy. And until next video.